Hey guys, what's up? My name is Matt. Uh, I recently got a 2019 Tesla Model 3. I do live in Florida. It's hot as hell. And one of the flaws is that this airbag, if you look, is just very like tarnished and it looks like it was scratched up by a dog and it just kind of takes away from the interior right the rest of the interior is very clean uh and then there's just this and it, it's frustrated me every single time i get in the car it frustrates me so i was looking around for different options originally i was going to just get an entire new steering wheel which i do plan to do the yoke as well um however for the immediate i was looking for remedies uh for the airbag i was going to order a new airbag but for 300 bucks and it was just like a factory airbag. I didn't really see the value in that, nor did I want to buy a used airbag for $300. The new ones were about $400, $450, which I understand, but I also like just wanted uh, a few other options. So I stumbled upon RPM Tesla, uh, which if I may add, the shopping experience was super, super cool. I'm not sponsored or affiliated with RPM Tesla at all. I just really enjoyed my shopping experience. They made it very easy through the app. Uh, I was able to find this airbag cover uh, after shipping and brought to my door for $115 and it's exactly what I wanted. So I have the box here. Uh, packaging is pretty much packaging. I will say in the box, they provide you with pretty much everything you need to do this. These are going to be what allows you to get the factory airbag off. And then from my understanding, these are what's going to go into well, I'll show you that, but nonetheless, we have the airbag cover here. Hey guys, so in the box, you get these spikes, which are going to actually allow you to take the airbag and separate it from the, um, the actual shell. Uh, I'll explain this more in depth. I don't really know what it's called technically. I don't work here. I just bought a Tesla. Um, so this is going to be the airbag. This is first impressions. So... It is very well wrapped, I'll, I'll give them that. Oh my God, guys. I mean, just look at the quality. All right, guys, I'm gonna try to explain this the best that I can. Um, it's a pretty easy process once you understand how to do it, okay? On the stock steering wheel, there's gonna be two of these holes right here, okay? Another thing I will note is they don't inherently mention uh, whether or not you should unplug the battery. That's kind of up to your discretion. I think honestly, it wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit like I do with everything in my life. And we're really just gonna send it. It's literally gonna go in. You're gonna feel resistance right about here. You're gonna push and you see that release that side of the airbag. Now we're gonna do the other side um, without getting an airbag to the face, hopefully. So the angle at which you kind of go in is uh, straight in, right? And then that's just gonna literally pop this airbag out. So, after that, you literally pull up. Um, probably gonna need a flathead just to remove this little yellow clip in here. Um, and then you have the airbag in your hand. So again, you gotta remove this little clip. It slides right into there. It's very, very simple. Um, just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to show you how this works. So if you'll notice this, this silver clip in the back here, when you come in with um, this Allen key, you'll literally see it just flex up, which moves that out of the way, which in turn lets you pull the airbag out. It's a very, very simple process. All right, y'all, so this is gonna be the airbag, and if you notice, all around here, there's these little um, pockets, right? And you're gonna pry them all up, but that's where these come in handy. These are five extra bucks, but I really, really think uh, they're kind of imperative. Bro, holy moly. All right, so I'm gonna be honest, guys, that was not the easiest thing. Um, 
It wasn't hard, it was just tedious. Let me show you. So look, bro. You have these clips around the entire airbag. I think because my airbag's been on here for a while, it, it just kind of got stuck, okay? I took this flathead, ended up prying just all the way around in these little things. And then this just comes off like that. This is not going to be reusable. I completely destroyed the bottom. All right, I know there's a steering wheel in the way, but uh, I'm going to try to reconnect this. We're going to see if it just clips in, hopefully very easily. Um, make sure it's under these as well. My light just died, sorry about that. And then you're literally just going to go around. Oh yeah, baby. And then it goes in just the way it came out. Yellow clip in, and then. The